We're actually a nightmare. It's not quite what I had planned. This is the car and we haven't even picked everything up yet. Loser! You're being a big coriander on your tongue. As always, I have a long plan. Welcome to... Hey, 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 we've got a really exciting video for you today, haven't we? We have, finally. We've actually been waiting literally a year to do this. <laughs> and we're going to be doing Bethan's dressing room. I actually designed one online and I was like, perfect, looks amazing. We just checked the measurements in the room, doesn't fit. So we've yeah. decided we're just going to go to Ikea and maybe see if we can just get a hold of one of them. I think but they've got like designers there. We need to make a pact. That, that is all we're doing. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting, getting anything, anything else. else or we might get some food. Well, we get some food. You can't go to Ikea and not get a dime cake, let's be honest. Would you like directions to Ikea? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, getting directions. If you like home content, if you're looking to buy a new build, you've bought a new build, or you just like home stuff in general, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. to this pug socket was 70 centimetres. Luckily, I actually remembered what the measurements were. Thank They've written God. them down and just recited them. We literally just did it at home, yeah. and then I did bring paper. But wow. We're just looking to see what the dimensions of this mirror that we want are, so we can factor that into the design. Got up my original design, and this was originally gonna be my plan, but we're gonna have to edit it. Joe's trying to rebuild it for me now. And the shoe shelf, right? Yeah. We're actually a nightmare. We've just, um, we've just managed to get it sorted. One of the kind ladies in Ikea has helped us. Um, been here over we've and got hour. it configured. Basically the shell that we're working with now. We're getting so, yeah. there. We'll give you an update when we've we'll got get, there and have another there. Barney in the middle of Ikea. <laughs> so we finally, after about an hour and a half of being in here, we've got the finished product. It's not quite what I had planned, but I feel like it's gonna fit everything. So we've got drawers down here and in here. Rails here, all around pretty much. Shoes are gonna go in that end one and they'll be able to tuck all behind there as well. We made a pact that we weren't gonna buy anything else other than these wardrobes. But Joe's bound uh, for it. <laughs> we have a rule that I'm not meant to water the plants and Joe only does it because I kill them basically. And he's been saying that he wanted a watering can, so there you go. Chuff with his teapot. You chuff with that. <laughs> You're gonna put it on your trolley. Yeah, right, mate. <laughs> You're watering. <laughs> no. Picking and packing. Well, picking, not packing. Picking and packing. Picking and packing. <laughs> God knows how we're gonna get this in the car, guys. We actually wanted to borrow Joe's dad's van today, but he took the van keys on holiday with him. We're actually being really careful because last time we did this, we picked up the whole wrong TV unit and Joe had to drive all the way back here and swap it. We picked up like a navy one and we were meant to pick up a white one. <laughs> so we're not doing that today. 192573 Mesh basket. We're looking at us like, what the hell are they doing? Right, I think we're, are we there? God. <laughs> Guys, this is the car and we haven't even picked everything up yet. So we're just gonna have to get half of it now and half of it tomorrow. <laughs> it's 
Yay! This is my car seat because I don't think I'm going to be sitting through there. Yeah, I think I'll uh, give that one a mess. I'm a bit worried about that headrest, not going to lie. I'm getting chauffeured. What a day. What a day. Couldn't fit all the stuff that we ordered into the car. So we're gonna have to go back there tomorrow in my dad's van because they're back from holiday tonight. But we've got some of it, so we're gonna put some of it together tonight, aren't we? Yeah, After we're gonna try and get eaten. some of them We've just, I've just made some, some tacos. It's really lazy tacos. We've got chicken goujons here and fish goujons there. And then I've just made like a salsa. For anybody else watching this that's thinking, how is that lazy tacos? This is Joe's idea of lazy dinner, right? If you're new here, Joe is like That's an unbelievable lazy. cook unbelievable. and is always cooking the nicest food ever. That to me is not lazy. I don't know about anyone else. <laughs> Time to attempt some sort of DIY. You can't call IKEA DIY. Can you not? No. It's, you do it yourself, put it up yourself, don't you? All right, time to do some flat pack furniture. We do tend to get a bit stressy with each other when we're doing flat pack furniture. Well, let's just take one each, and if you get it wrong, then... See who gets it right. Okay. I'm going to make the shelf. You, you don't need to make Finished. the shelf. Finished, I win, loser. <laughs> loser. You've got a big, big coriander on your tooth. Have I actually? Yeah. No, I haven't. Oh, God. I wouldn't lie to you, honey. I'm gonna do the That's embarrassing. I'm gonna do isn't the it? clothes rails next. Done and done. Cool, you need to speed up at this, you're rubbish. Three, two, one. Boom. Yay! We have some drawers. We have two drawers. Ow. Building has commenced. Most of the dressing room stuff's out apart from my desk. And we're gonna sort these drawers out into the wardrobes as we build them. Let the pack commence. Got to be the only people in the world at like 10 on a Saturday night that are doing this. Yeah, living the dream. It is day two of the dressing room renovation. And as always, it hasn't gone to plan. We are heading back over to Ikea to get the rest of the stuff that we bought yesterday. We've managed to get one of the smaller units done yesterday night before we went to go and get them from the airport. So we've made some progress. If we would have gone today, we wouldn't have made any. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be a Bethan and Joe video if there was something that just didn't go to plan. We're going back to Ikea. We're going to grab a Tim Hortons on the way. Morning. <laughs> she plays the We've arrived at Tim Hortons for a quick breakfast stop because we're both starving and it's like we're 11 o'clock. You're normally hungry at this point. <laughs> it's so weird. We actually break Tim Hortons, you know. It's nice coffee in there. Why am I holding it like this? Round two. <laughs> We are back, or I am back. Joe's actually gone to swap the van back with our car, um, and also to get a multi tool because I think we're going to have to cut the skirt in. I'm going to show you guys what we did yesterday. Please ignore this desk, but this is what we managed to get up yesterday. Um, so one of the units is now complete. Obviously, just needs the door going in. But this unit has got a rail up the top and then you come down here and there's like a whole little drawer section which has been designed for different bits. So this is my absolute favourite part, the little jewellery tray. I absolutely love that and it's got like a soft close to it, which is so cool. The reason we've gone for a mesh basket at the bottom rather than drawers is you can't actually get a door hinge at the bottom with these drawers. So you kind of have to only have them to a certain point and then this ends up being like dead space. So the lady told us that if we got a basket at the bottom instead, we could actually have hinges for the doors. So yeah, really happy with the unit so far. I am just gonna try and build some more of these drawers because one of the other units also has more drawers in. So I'm gonna try and build one before Joe gets back. Otherwise he's gonna be literally like, what have you been doing?
I'm back. Carl. Back back Carl acquired, multi tool acquired because I need to cut the uh, skirting board to get the wardrobes to like fit flush against the wall. Well done, Beth has just done three drawers while I've been gone. Okay, let's go. I've got us some energy drinks. Because we need some energy. Joe's got the golf on. Got the Ryder Cup on. Ryder Cup Rooney. Day three of the Ryder Cup Rooney. My favourite. Right, so it's all in situ. Corners in, as you can see there. It's all sitting, sat down. I've cut the skirting board and I've taken this skirting board off down here. I'm just going to redo that bit because that's going to be on show. It's going to be Beth's little cozy spot where she got the stones like that. Takes a couple of photos. Yeah. We can't go and this is done, tell you that. Stop playing our this week's video at YouTube, which is going on now. Ooh, on now. go watch it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. We're decorating our house for all of them. Tuesday. What's that? It's nearly done. Nearly done, nearly there. Whoop, whoop. Let us know in the comments how you find doing IKEA furniture. We didn't find it easy on the weekend, guys. We had a long old weekend, so we thought we'd just park it and then yeah. finish it today. Just need to put the handles on today. Yeah. I don't think we've updated you since we were doing it, so you haven't actually seen the result thus far. So, this is where we've got to so far with the wardrobes. They're all up, finally. There's one little crack down there, but you can't even see it and we won't talk about it. You would have seen when we were designing it that all the wardrobes were together, so it was basically like this corner and then all along part of this wall. And that bit there where that wardrobe is was gonna be like kind of a cubby hole area. But when we were putting them up, Joe was like, do you know what? I feel like it's gonna be so dark in that corner and you'd be much better off leaving a strip in the middle and then basically making like a little cubby hole area here, maybe put like a nice chair, put something on the wall um, and then open it up to the mirror here instead. So this mirror will shift over slightly so that it kind of matches the yeah. gap. Um, but I actually think that that's such a better idea. So well done on that one, Joe. He's actually quite good at interiors, guys. I feel like I start the plans and then you build them. I, I add the practicality. And yeah, the you, you add the logic. I'm like, right, this is what I want. And then Joe adds the logic. But these are the handles we've gone for. And if you watch our videos, we bought these about a year ago to go in the kitchen. We've got six left over. So you were going to get gold ones anyway. So yeah, we're just going to reuse these. I think they look fine as well. We have door handles. These ones are a little bit odd because obviously we've got the <laughs> corner unit. So we've got one and one the same. But to be honest, doesn't bother me that much. No one's really gonna come up here apart from me anyway. And then we haven't put one on this obviously because we don't need one. Those two there. And then this is a cupboard on its own here. I need to get some screws because there's like holes at the back here. Oh yeah, you're gonna like, fix it to the wall. wall. So I'm gonna fix it to the wall and then I'm gonna cork along here and cork along there. So there's no gap. So there's no gaps. We'll do that in another vlog though, shall we? Yeah. Good morning from my new dressing room. We are getting there. It's actually Friday now. Last time we picked up the camera was when we were fitting these handles on the doors. That is all done now. So today is an opportunity for me to actually sort out the inside of the wardrobes because I think I showed you guys the other day. This is what we're working with in part of it. So I need to put all my jewelry in this. I need to hang some of that, sort the tripods out. As you can see, we've actually got rid of the desk now. So that has gone. I also went and got myself a lampshade slash light shade because we have got a random bulb hang out, hanging out of the ceiling. I've got for like a tiny one. Joe was like, that is not a light shade, Bethan, that is a lampshade. But actually I'll have you know that on the front, it says dual purpose, which means 
a light shade or a lamp shade. I want to keep this room really simple. On Monday, we're going to finish this room and I want to get like a nice kind of accent chair or something and sort this area out. But I don't want it to be overloaded. All I really want is just a nice big space to get dressed in. Let's get started by getting Joe to put this up. Can you put this light shade up for me, Joe? <laughs> Sorry. The miniature lampshade. Is it meant to have this wrapping on it? Is that for like effect? No. Uh, it's not meant to stay on there. Have you lost the plot? Have you lost the plot? Serving me while I'm trying to get my all my IT equipment sorted out. I just remember to unplug it. Yeah. Hurry up then. What did you do that for? Are you pretending you got electrocuted? Yeah. There we go. Thanks, Joey. No worries. That's task one complete. I'm going to hang these up as well. I didn't show you guys. Um, my sister actually did these for me ages ago. And they've been in my office that I've just got rid of. So I'm going to put those up. That one as well. I love them. And I'm thinking I'm going to put them like along this bit next to the window. as it is the only thing left that i might do but i just really cannot be bothered i've had the busiest week ever is change all the hangers to be like exactly the same but i'll show you so far what everything's looking like but up top we've got all coats and jackets and then dresses but i think it would look a lot nicer if all of the hangers are like the same vibe so at some point i'll do that and i might like try and color coordinate them but you get the idea and then down the bottom here this is actually going to look slightly less cluttered because these jumpers here are going to go in one of the other wardrobes where joe's like jackets and jumpers currently are and then the bottom will literally all just be like skirts and jeans and trousers moving on to here these are all in the hangers that I bought from B&M, so they're all the same white hangers. I actually love the hangers that have these little, like, um, hook things on because a lot of my clothes tend to fall off. They're actually really good. They were quite cheap from B&M if you are looking for some hangers that have the little hooks on as well. Um, so all my little tops are in their t-shirts and then long sleeve tops. Down to this section, I've got an ugly load of tripods. There's honestly nowhere else these are gonna go and I need them to be like really accessible because I use them all the time. Practicality over appearance um, here. Then I've got the jewelry drawer, which you've obviously seen. And here I've got my underwear, so we won't go into too much detail, but these um, underwear dividers from Amazon are so good. I'll try and link them for you. You can put like, all your knickers and all your socks in them and they're just so cheap and so handy and right at the bottom i've got pajamas hair clips and um, hair products moving into this wardrobe which obviously opens all the way up in the corner obviously joe's stuff is all gonna go it's taking up a lot of room right now but once this is all moved that way you'll be able to see like my shoes a lot more so i've got all my shoes there, all my heels, um, sandals, boots at the bottom. And then up here, I've got stuff that doesn't really have a home. A lot of it's like memory stuff. I've got a couple of memory boxes that I like to keep. I've got magazines that my granny bought me when I was like a little girl, a little ballerina that my nana bought me. And then drawers in here, I've got um, all of my like hair tools in the top. So hair dryer, straighteners and stuff. Um, gym stuff, shorts and like slacks, whatever you call them. Um, and then in the bottom I've got all of my swimwear and my belt. Overall, I'm really happy with how this is looking so far. And it feels so nice to actually have a dressing room. Like, I can actually move. Like, we can dance, do handstands. <laughs> that's probably not a good idea the day has come that i can finally show you how the dressing room is looking so far i've got to say there are a couple of bits that i'm going to do to it that i haven't been able to do as yet i wanted to make sure that i ended this video showing you guys how it looks so far i'll talk you through the finishing touches that i do have planned but it's literally like two items but welcome to the new dressing room. I can't actually believe that we've finally done this. Can you guys just remember 
how much of a mess this room was. The amount of stuff that used to be in this corner was out of control. So we obviously have all the IKEA Pax wardrobes up with handles on. Um, I'm really happy that I went for a really plain wardrobe. I feel like it's not to everyone's taste, but I just don't think I'm gonna go off them. And I feel like it makes the room look bigger. And I might do some like paneling or something like that on this side or down there. So I feel like the fact they're plain will mean that I can kind of yeah. do whatever I want to it. Um, I've added a few little finishing touches. There are a couple to come, which I'll explain in a minute. But I've added this little stool here from, well it's like a coffee table, um, it's made out of metal weirdly but it's from Dunelm and it was only like, I think it was £40 so quite cheap. It's like a bongo do. drum. Yeah it's like a bongo drum, <laughs> Joe was playing the bongo drums on it the other day. But I just wanted to add something there but I don't really want to do too much to it. We need to obviously um, attach the wardrobe. Yeah, we need to get some which we haven't done yet. Some longer screws so I can and do And you're going to cork it and stuff, aren't you? But we'll do that again in a, in a later on vlog. Uh, also from Dan Elm, I've got this little fluffy rug in like a taupe colour. On top of that rug, I'm actually going to put a chair, like an accent chair in this corner. Mm. Um, I found one online that I really want, but it's not going to come straight away. So yeah, there will be a chair. Yeah. Also planning on moving these shelves up slightly and I'm hoping to get a, a little desk that folds out from the wall. I've seen them online where they literally like sit flush and then you can just fold them out and I'll use that chair to like edit and stuff like that. I don't really need like a proper desk at the moment so I've given it to Joe. we'll talk about that in another vlog. Joe's very kindly put up my little picture frames on the wall here which I'm really pleased with. My sister made these for me because she's very good at that's your old office um, isn't it like graphic design and stuff that's my old office so it'll remind me of the times that i did have it and this is just a random one that i really loved that she made um and then on here i've got these lovely things which i had before which are actually my grandparents and are very special to me and i feel like they're perfect for a dressing room um i've got my candles sage of course because we don't want no neg negative vibes in this dressing room and this little thing that my sister bought me as a gift when we first moved in and then of course we've got the mirror um, which potentially might be changing at some point so I keep you guys updated on that but this one's fine for now yeah and um, but yeah we have got that tiny little sort of corner down there which that palm's gone into yeah we're gonna try and grow that bigger and we've got a shelf that I haven't used but might use so I don't want to get rid of it just yet but yeah overall I'm so happy with the fact that I can actually... We have got like an, an Alexa strip light that I was thinking we could potentially use on above the... Above, yeah, lighting I feel like would yeah. be quite nice. So that is the That's end it. of our IKEA packs. Finally. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it makes you... Gives you have, some dressing room gives, inspo. Yeah, it gives you some dressing room inspo. Also shows you that you don't have to spend six grand on wardrobes if you don't want to you can still make a nice room on a budget thank you so much for watching this video if yeah, you're cheers. new here make sure you subscribe sub yo sub yo we'll see you next week on wednesday also let us know in the comments what your favorite color is please